In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix lower back pain off to one side. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over some great lower back pain relief exercises that are geared towards pain off to one side. And it's going to be broken up into a very easy to follow three part guide. All three parts, they focus on something just a little bit differently, but when you put them together, you'll get the best results. Go through all three parts, take what is most effective for you. As a bonus, all of these exercises can be done at home, don't require any special equipment, and may give quick lower back pain relief, even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that lower back pain right now. In this part, we're going to focus on a big cause of lower back pain, which is muscle tightness. Think muscle spasms, muscle knots, trigger points, you name it. One of the easiest ways to be able to target these is with this method. I go right next to a door and I place my feet flat against it. I would recommend using shoes with this because you'll have more grip, making this exercise a little bit easier. Knees are going to be bent at 90 degrees. Our knees and our hips are going to be in a nice straight line. We just lay flat on our back just like this. If you do need some extra comfort for the neck, throw a roll up towel or pillow underneath it. I'm going to be using an everyday tennis ball for this. If you don't have a tennis ball, just roll up a couple socks instead. So the movement is very easy. What I'm going to do is lift my butt up by using my feet right here, kind of place your weight right in your heels, and then just take the tennis ball and go right over a spot of tightness in the lower back. When you do this, only place the sock or the ball over muscle or soft tissue. Don't put it directly over the spine because that can cause irritation. So let's say I have a lot of pain right off to the uh, left side of the lower back. I'm just going to center that tennis ball right over that. The nice thing with this is that I can control the amount of pressure going down into the tennis ball by lifting or lowering my butt just like this. So only go towards a comfortable amount of pressure. From there, what I want to do is you can either hold this for a little bit if it feels good, but I like to throw more motion in there. So I go side to side with it. Just use my legs, my hips, my pelvis to swing my body over the ball just like this and do it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Again, applying enough pressure in there where it feels good, but not causing discomfort. From there, you can just relax, take a breather, and if it feels a lot better, you can switch over different spots. But I tend to do this for about three to five repetitions. And with each repetition, I try to drive down into the ball just a little bit more. You can also experiment by going forward with it, and you can also do like a hula hoop motion. So go through different motions, see if that targets it just a little bit better. But I would recommend doing this pretty much from the belt line all the way up. If you want to target a little bit more off to the side too, what I tend to do is tilt my body towards one side like this. So if I have a lot of left sided issues, I tilt my pelvis, my hips, towards the side and then do it. You'll notice that it becomes a little bit more pinpoint over the ball because more body weight is being placed over the ball. So give that one a try. If you want to take this one to the next level, let's reposition that ball over the spot of pain and I'm going to add some dynamic movement in there. So I like to do a pelvic tilt. That is just putting my hands on my hips and then rocking my butt forward and backward just like this. You'll notice that it engages a lot more muscles and you might find that this just becomes more effective at getting that muscle tightness out. If you want to take this one to the next, next level, what we can do is a knee to the chest. So I just take one leg off like this, in this case will be my left, and I bring the knee all the way up towards my chest. You'll notice that this again acts, or activates the muscles and this will become a much more intense self-massage into that area. So you can hold this position right here for about 15 to 20 seconds. You can just relax and then repeat this one for a couple repetitions. Experiment with going towards the other side too. And if that one feels like it helps out, you can throw, again, more repetitions in. But from there, just switch over different spots as needed and I hope that gives very quick lower back pain relief. In this part, we're going to focus on improving mobility in the lower back, that is just loosening up tight joints in this part, we're going to focus on improving mobility in the lower back, that is improving muscle tightness and joint stiffness with great lower back pain relief stretching exercises. Let's start with a very easy one that you can pretty much do anywhere. It's known as the ballerina. So what I'm going to do is start with very good upright posture. Whatever side that we're having pain, let's say I have pain on my right side, I'm going to take this leg and then just put it over the other side. So it's kind of in front of the other leg. 
What I'm going to do from there is take the hand on the side that you're not having pain, so in this case my left, place it on my left hip. The first part what I'm going to do is apply pressure into my left hip to then move my pelvis slightly towards the right. Push over just enough until you feel the muscles activate and you really start to feel it a little bit more on the right side. From there what I'm going to do is take my right arm, bend it like this, place it overhead. And then I'm going to press into my left hip while I then bend my body towards the left. When you do this you're going to feel a very deep stretch into the right side. This really targets a muscle known as the QL or quadratus lumborum which is a big instigator of lower back pain. You want to hold this one comfortably for at least 20 seconds but if it feels good hold it for longer. You can hold it for a half minute up to a minute. When you need a breather just relax like this but you want to do this for three to five repetitions and with each repetition try to stretch more into it. Always challenge those muscles to get more tightness out and when you're done on one side always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. So here is a great lower back pain relief exercise that you can do first thing in the morning in bed. You can also do this one on the floor. What I'm going to do is take two of my favorite yoga poses, the cobra and the child's pose, and put them together to really focus on getting quick lower back pain relief, even more so off to one side. So I'm going to start off on all fours in bed just like this. I like to go to the edge of a bed, grip into it with my hands. It makes this a little bit easier to do. Let's tuck the chin towards the chest and then from there I'm going to rock my whole body back like this. Pretty much taking my butt down towards my heels. The more that you go down, the more that you're going to feel an intense stretch pretty much through the whole back. You want to keep your elbows locked and straight during this exercise too, but go down as far as you're able to go. Once you hit a very comfortable stretch and you really feel it into the back, hold this one for 20 to 30 seconds. You can hold it for longer if it feels good. You want to also do nice, slow, controlled breathing. Let the tension out. The more you relax, the better this exercise will work. From there, I'm going to go into the cobra. So I'm going to rock forward like this to the point where my hips, my pelvis are going to go flat on the bed. My elbows are just going to be slightly bent. This puts the back into extension and you should feel like a very deep stretch into the lower back. If it's too intense, just use your elbows to bend a little bit more like this and bring your chest down. But the more that you lift your chest up, the more intense the stretch will get. But when you do this exercise, you want to make sure that the hips down to your toes are flat. It's not arching up like this. The only thing that should be arching is your back into extension. Hold this one for 20 to 30 seconds. You're just going to relax. And then what you're going to do is then build back into the child's pose. You want to do this one nice and slowly for about three to five repetitions. And with each repetition, try to stretch into it just a little bit more. Always challenge those muscles to hopefully get more pain relief. This is how we're going to modify it to then take it to the next level and focus a little bit more on one-sided back pain. So let's get back into our original position. I'm going to do the child's pose again, but what I'm going to do is focus on turning or tilting my upper body to hit one side. Let's say I have a lot going on on my right side. So instead of going straight out with it, I'm going to go towards the opposite direction. So I'm tilting my body towards the left, just the upper body. And then I'm going to lower my butt down towards the heels. When you do this, you're going to feel a lot, a really good deep stretch into that right side. So experiment by going as far as you're able to go and then repeating this exercise. And then you can do the same thing with the Cobra. So I go straight ahead with it just like this, but I'm just going to then tilt my body a little bit in the opposite direction. But with each repetition with this one, try to focus on going towards the other direction as much as you can. Build into it to get a better stretch. With this exercise, we're going to focus on dynamic movements. That is targeting a lot of muscle groups in a short amount of time. Notably, the piriformis and QL or quadratus lumborum muscles, two big instigators of lower back pain. I'm going to start off on the floor. One leg is going to go straight just like this. It doesn't matter what side you start with because we're going to do it on both. The other side, I'm going to bend the knee and then I'm going to take the foot and place it on the inside of the straight leg, pretty much centered right at the knee. Press into it just a little bit too to create a stable anchor point. The side of the bent knee, I'm going to keep that arm straight at the elbow, just place my hand back like this for a little bit more stability. The first motion is pretty easy. We want to just make sure that we have very good upright posture as much as you can. So kind of take your hand and just press up 
with your upper body as much as you can. We also want to try to keep the bent knee flat against the floor during this exercise. I'm going to take the hand, place it on the bent side's knee, and do what is known as a corkscrew. So I'm going to turn my whole body towards the side of the bent knee, just very, very slowly. You should feel a very good stretch pretty much from the upper back all the way down to the lower back. Really focus on that. With this one too, you might get a sudden pop, crack, or release into the back. It's quite common. This exercise just puts a lot of mobility into the back, but don't try to force it. Just go for a deep stretch. Once we hit that deep stretch, let's hold this one for 20 seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, and then you can do this for three to five repetitions. With each repetition, try to stretch into it just a little bit more. This is how we can focus on taking this to the next level and hitting a little bit more off to the side. So I'm gonna go back into the corkscrew. I'm gonna lift my hand off the floor like this, put it overhead, and then I'm going to just laterally tilt or bend my body towards the opposite direction. So if my uh, right knee is bent, I'm tilting my whole body towards my left side, and this feels wonderful. Very, very deep stretch off to the side right here. It's really hitting that QL or quadratus lumborum. Again, hold this one for about 20 seconds. You're just going to relax. On the next repetition, try to stretch more into it and repeat this for three to five repetitions. And then when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. A leading cause of one-sided lower back pain is due to imbalances and weaknesses in the back. If we don't address that, no matter what stretch you do, the pain will keep coming back. So if we want to get rid of the lower back pain for good, we have to strengthen everything. And this is a very easy exercise to be able to do that. It's known as the butt walk. It sounds funny, but yes, it does really work. It's going to target a lot of muscles, pretty much the legs, the glute buttock, it's going to work the core, the quadratus lumborum, the lower back muscles. It's really good for bringing both sides into balance. I'm going to start off on the floor. You might find that doing this on a hardwood floor will be a little bit easier than doing it on carpet. But I'm going to just straighten both legs like this. I'm going to take my hands, place them into a prayer position, and then put my hands right on my chest just like this. Just drive it right in. Let's have very good upright posture as much as possible. From here, the movement is really easy. I'm going to just take one leg, the heel right here, and then drive it forward, the whole leg and the whole side. Activate those muscles. From there, I'm just going to do the same with the other side. But when you do this, I lift up a little bit and then I start to just drive my whole side forward. So I'm walking with my butt. Again, this can become very challenging if you have a lot of weakness going on, but it's going to work both sides. Try to do this for about five seconds. If you're able to, work up and go longer. The more that you do this, the more strength that you're going to build. But once you hit a point where you feel like you need a break, take a breather. And then on that point, let's go in reverse. Tack or tackle the muscles just a little bit differently. But this is just a good way to really focus on building strength, build balance in both sides, and have a little bit of fun at the same time also. But try to do this for about three to five repetitions. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching.